Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help you understand technology. And today, I'm gonna to talk all about Samsung SmartThings. Santa was nice enough to bring me this awesome SmartThings hub, and I wanna show you how to use it and what it does. So with Samsung SmartThings, you can control different types of smart devices using a technology called Z-Wave and Zigbee. Those are the two main types and Samsung SmartThings connects to all those. That means there are hundreds of devices that you can connect to with the SmartThings hub. One of them is the Belkin Wemo plug. And is what you can do is you can have this in your wall and control that device, turning it on and off right from the SmartThings application. I also have a Wemo light switch that I can control right from SmartThings. There are also other devices like this GE smart switch that you can control with your phone. So whenever you're buying a product, make sure that you look on the side to see if it has that Z-Wave or Zigbee technology so that you know it's going to work with smart things. And right there it also says smart things right on the box. So today I'm going to show you how to set up the Samsung smart things hub and install this power plug so that I can upgrade my Christmas tree here from this old switch uh, and this remote that I continue to keep losing. So let's get started. When we open up the SmartThings hub box, inside all we find is the Smart Hub. Underneath here there is a instruction manual and then underneath that you have a network cable to plug into your router, a power cable, and backup batteries if it loses power. And those will be plugged into here. So first thing, I'm gonna put those batteries in right now. Okay, now that the batteries are installed, all I need to do is slide this back on. Now let's go plug it in. First thing to install the hub, let's plug in the power cable and plug it into the wall. And then let's take the network cable, plug it into the back of the hub. And then we're going to find our router and plug it into the open spot in the back. You'll know that it's on and the network is plugged in when the lights are flashing. Now make sure you find a place to sit this so it's mounted and it doesn't fall and it sits nice. You can also know that you plugged it in on the back if the number you plugged it into is flashing. Hub installed. Now we need to install the Wemo smart plug. All you have to do is plug it in the wall. Okay, so now we need to install the SmartThings application. When we open it, we will then need to sign up or log in. And here I do not have an account, so I'm going to sign up. Hello, enter the code. So now we need to enter our code, and this is found in the instructions that came with the device. So here I'm going to click back. Okay, great, it found the hub, so we have already done the connection part. I'm going to hit continue, and then it will want permissions so that it can fully automate when I'm home or not at home, turning on and off the lights. So here I'm going to grant those permissions. And then here, my location, I'm going to call it home. Setting up your hub. Success, it is finished. The device is now connected and we're going to call it Brett Bristow's Android. Done, okay. Now we are at this point, we need to add a thing. So the thing that we have is our Belkin Wemo smart switch. So I'm going to hit add a thing and it is automatically going to look to see if it can find any devices. If after a certain amount of time it cannot find those, you can click add device manually down here. 
So then you just browse for your device depending on the category you have. I know that my light switch, the Wemos, are actually here at the bottom under Smart Things Labs. So if I select that, and here I have a Belkin Wemo switch. So I'm going to select that and then cl click Connect Now. So after fully setting up my Belkin Wemo through the Wemo application, I then had to wait a little bit. And now when I go into this option on the SmartThings application, it shows select Wemo switch. So now I can add that and we select that we want to add that to SmartThings. And I hit done. And now we have added our Wemo switch. So now under my home, I can see that the Wemo switch is off and I select that and boom, there are our Christmas lights. I no longer have to find that little remote control. So playing around with the application, it looks like there's a few other things I can do. I can set different automation times so that at a certain time at night, it will turn off those lights or turn them on at a certain time of day, which makes it really easy, especially for Christmas lights. I hope you enjoyed this video today on Tech with Brett about how to install the Samsung SmartThings Hub and how to set up one of your light switches or smart plugs. Be sure to check out my upcoming video that will show you how to connect your Google Home device with your smart things so you can control things without even using your phone and just using your voice. If this is your first time here, I'd love to have you hit the subscribe button down below so that you'll be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Also, make sure you leave any comments below in the comment section if you have any questions about what you can do with smart things and what devices are supported. I'll also leave in the description some great products that work with the Samsung SmartThings Hub, and I can't wait to see you on the next one.